Well, Bo, obviously when, you, when you're able to play 32 minutes at a high level, there are a lot of things you have to do in the offseason to prepare yourself and be ready to be in that kind of condition to be able to play that. What kind of things do you do maybe in the offseason or what to prepare yourself for a season, prepare yourself for a game like that? Um, nothing too crazy, you know. Uh, I feel like things I do every summer, um, just try to stay in shape and get myself in shape to, um, you know, be able to play in, at the highest level and, um, you know, stay conditioned throughout the year. So um, nothing too crazy or vigorous, just try to stay on top of things and, um, you know, that continues into the season. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, nothing crazy, but just try to stay on top of it. Do you find the more minutes you get, the better you are? I know Rasmus has said that too, the more he plays, he feels he's more into the game and that type of thing. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I think that would probably be true for most players. You know, the more you're playing, the more you're touching the puck, the more you're involved, and, um, you know, the game becomes a little bit easier. So, um, yeah, I would agree with that and probably say that's true for most guys. No recovery too. I mean, you obviously. I'm sure you retired after that game. What, do you have to do special things for recovery when when, when you play that much? Uh, not really anything special. Just uh, you know my normal routine that I go through. Um, you know, pretty much every day or after every game. So um, yeah, nothing too crazy or vigorous. Just try to take care of myself. Is there a tangible difference at all in the way you feel when you get back to the room if you play 32 versus 28, 27 minutes? Uh, sometimes it does, uh, sometimes it doesn't, just kind of depends on the game and how you felt on the ice and um, obviously, like you said, how much you played, so uh, yeah, uh, obviously the more you play, the more tired you're most likely going to be. I know we've asked you and you've mentioned if you had a choice you'd rather play on the left side, but since you've been playing on the right it looks like things have been going very well for you. Have you, have you liked it so far this time through on the right side? Yeah. Um, I feel more comfortable playing on the right side than I ever have uh, right now, probably just from, um, you know, reps and practice and getting used to it. Uh, you know, there's still times where you get pucks and you feel, you know, a little exposed when you're on your back end or whatever it might be. Um, but I'm just continuing to try to work at it and improve at it. seems like the chemistry you and Rasmus built uh, seems like pretty seamless. I mean, when you play with a guy like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I feel like I've touched on it lots. Russ is easy to play with. He's a smart player and um, makes the game pretty easy on me, so it's enjoyable. How were you able to find a way to win that game? You, you guys played a good 40 minutes maybe. It looked like um, maybe not as much energy in the third period, but you found a way to win the game. How were you able to do that? Yeah, I think that's important. Um, you know, you have to find ways to win games, especially when you're not at your best. And, um, you know, I feel like in games past we've found ways to lose games and last night we found a way to win one so um, you know it was really good I think you got to have a good B game and Lindy always talks about that you're not going to feel your best every single game so um, you know sometimes you just got to keep things simple and um, you know live to fight another day. You guys had a lot of opportunities it wasn't like the goaltender stood on his head it seemed like you hit some what three or four posts um, it seemed like some very good opportunities missed the net it did seem like in the first 40 minutes you guys did create generate. Yeah, I think we generated um, opportunities throughout the game. Um, you know, but their goalie played well, and we weren't able to put a few away to kind of get the game out of reach. But um, like I said, I thought we played, um, you know, a pretty good B game, and Oopy played really well, made some big saves for us when he had to, and then uh, you know we were able to get it to to the shootout, and then um, you know JJ scores one, and uh, Oopy locks it down, so it's good. Two afternoon games in a row. How much different is it to when you got to have to get ready for a 12:30 game as compared to maybe a seven o'clock game? Uh, you obviously, got to get up earlier, that kind of stuff. But is it a lot different for you? Uh, it's actually pretty nice. Um, you know, you don't got a full day to think about it and get ready. You kind of just get up and go. So um, I enjoy it. I like the afternoon games. Um, you know, wake up, eat, and go to the rink. It's pretty simple. Thanks. For all three of these games, it's a pretty good example of the identity you guys are trying to create the last three games. Yeah, I think so. Um, trying to be a hard team to play against, and, uh, but also play well with the puck and take care of the puck and um, you know, be dangerous off the rush and cycle teams down low. So uh, I feel like we're kind of finding an identity, yeah.